All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen them on the George Lopez Show, Arsenio Hall, Dave Chappelle Show, and the number one comedy show on TV right now on Adult Swim, Black Jesus. Put your hands together. Start clapping. Start clapping. Start clapping. Give it up for Charlie Murphy. Cool guy with fun, 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 Just... I appreciate Charlie Murphy for having me here Absolutely. at the Theater. Thing I do is think of man. I'm live here right now at the Howard Theater. Charlie Murphy's killing it all weekend. What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Dr. Ashley Brown, and we're here at the legendary Howard Theater in Washington, D.C. with stand-up comedian, actor, writer, producer, voiceover artist, Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy! <laughs> I wanted to say it like that. I was like, oh, he probably gets that all the time. Well, I said it because, you know, you messed up. So <laughs> Absolutely. Great show tonight. Thank you, thank How is DC treating you? How you feeling? As usual, it's love, man. Yeah, so absolutely. I come, I've been coming here for 12 years, and it's been the same wow. way the whole time. So. Absolutely. You know, much love to y'all, DC, for that. Yeah, and right on back, because, I mean, I, I remember, you know, seeing you on the Chappelle show, and I appreciate that work. Right. Oh, could you could you tell us a little bit about um, Black Jesus, the sitcom? And Black Jesus. Your work there? Actually, we're to episode five now. Okay, okay. Five episodes of Norm. Yes. Black Jesus, was, it was like... Uh, I feel like I'm back in back in back in the saddle in the, in the Chappelle Show type situation because of the creative writing of Aaron McGrew okay. and uh, absolutely you know, the Mike Clattenburg and then the cast that we got we got we got John Pops Witherspoon we got uh, Corey Holcomb we got DC Curry we got Dominique we got uh, Charlie Murphy I mean that's five different comedians casting on one TV show absolutely and everybody else that's on the show Andre Fuller Antoine Tanner uh, Callie Hawk, you know, King Bach, all of them are hilarious as well. So when they put them all together, I had to ask them, how'd you come up with, how'd you know to, to put all those people together? Absolutely. And I think that's brilliant in itself that he did that. I yeah. mean, Aaron Magruder, he's an awesome writer, mm -hmm. awesome talent. So he like, he's outside the box. Yeah, absolutely. So, so what's your what's your favorite between voiceover, film? I mean, you've got a long list of filmography. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, That's my favorite. Absolutely. You know, whichever way it's coming, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and you address some like uh, real so social issues tonight, like you, you some major. That's my style of comedy. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, you know, I'm not 21. No. I'm, a, I'm one of the older guys, so you know what I'm saying. When I, when I go up there, I feel I have to just be yourself and talk about, you know, what what you really want to talk about. You know. President Obama is bombing Iraq again. Israel just finished bombing Palestine. Russia is bombing the Ukraine. Japan wants to bomb China. North Korea wants to bomb South Korea. And with all this bombing and bomb threats going on, we have the audacity to have a $300 billion probe up on Mars searching for signs of life. Like, what are they going to do if the Martians just show up and be like, yeah, motherfucker, you found me. What's up? It ain't shit up in this motherfucker. Let's go back to your place. It's real easy to go up and tell joke, 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 but you, know, mm -hmm. you want to be separated from everybody else. You got to take some risks. So I do take risks. I know one day I might go up there and say something and get shot on stage, but that's how I go. Yeah, I see you creating your own ways. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you got to keep it real. <laughs> I keep it real. I keep it real. That's, yeah. why, that's why I respect the, the mm. big ups and, and rest in peace, Joan Rivers. Because Absolutely. Joan Rivers was one of the real. She kept it real, man. Mm -hmm. She was not trying to be politically correct. She was trying to be funny. And that's what comedy is about. Absolutely. So, so on that note, is there anything that you would say to, you know, upcoming comedians, new actors? Uh, yeah, have a tough beard. That's what I say to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know, the world is changing, you know what I'm saying? Tough skin. Uh, 15, 20 years ago, we didn't have Twitter and Facebook and social media like we have it now. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole different game now, you know, because of that. Absolutely. So, um, where can everyone find you now? I mean, I've, I've checked out your website, but could you let the people know where to find you? And... Uh, on Twitter, at Charlie Murphy. Okay. On Facebook, 
Charlie Murphy Comedy. Absolutely. And Twitter, Facebook, and uh, oh my um my my uh, podcast Charlie Murphy Presents, uh, which is my weekly podcast. Check that out on SoundCloud. Absolutely. And check it out. I have some great guests on there. Yeah. I appreciate you again. Thank you for coming to my hometown. <laughs> and we appreciate this. Having. Thank you. Thank you Respect. so much. All right. All right, turn the lights up. <laughs> and the neighbors calling down to the plane, complaining. Fight like we did it, talking about how we didn't do our job correctly. And then we get complaints and warnings from our boss. Then after the warning comes the demerit. Right. And when you get to three demerits, you know what happened then? A nigga lose his job! Oh, God, man. Take me the scenic route. This motherfucker took me to the Iverson Mall. I was walking around that mall like, wow, this mall is very fucked up. Stomping through the hood with my chucks on.